March 2022 might just become the month that years later we will probably discuss. Do you remember what happened back when the Bank of Canada raised the interest rate, announced a plan for quantitative tightening, while there's the sad conflicts in Europe, our gas price skyrocketed, the stock market was shaking, and most importantly, in our real estate industry, the market started to shift. Let's begin with the actual numbers of the housing stats in the city of Toronto. Over the month of February, the average price has reached a new high, while the inventory is improving because for the second month in a row, the number of new listings is outpacing the sales, meaning more sellers are in the market than real buyers. In the York region, the price growth has slowed down a little compared to the months before. It's encouraging to see the change in absorption rate such that we are now at one month of inventory, up from three weeks in January and two weeks in December. This, however, has not been reflected in the price change yet. There were two major events that happened in February we cannot ignore when speaking of housing. First is the Bank of Canada raising the interest rate. Okay, I know they had just announced the decision on March 2nd, but why am I saying it is an event in February? That's because the decision to increase the overnight lending rate by 0.25% on March 2nd was highly anticipated, and almost every professional was expecting that to happen. So, in my opinion, the anticipated change in the interest rate had already affected many people's decisions weeks before it actually happened. And we saw many more sellers listing their homes for sale, and this is a good sign to help relieve the inventory problem. Furthermore, another announcement Bank of Canada made on Thursday is that Raising interest rates is just one monetary policy tool they will use going forward. They also plan to execute quantitative tightening policies by not replacing the bonds as they mature, which is another powerful tool to reduce elevated inflation at the same time, discouraging others such as mortgages and corporate loans. We will still have our supply issues in housing, but at least we will see less of the excess demand that was created by the cheap capital over the next year or two. The other key event that happened on February 24th in Europe is a global crisis in many different aspects. Because this is a video about housing, so I'm not going to talk about the news itself, but the impact is huge and obvious. The gas price jumped last week. The inflation, which is already at 5.1%, will likely to go even higher. The stock market fell. And we have yet to see its direct impact on housing, but I believe it is coming with a very high level of uncertainty. So in my opinion, over the next couple of weeks, the market will become very fragile. There are some people in fear of a market correction, while some are afraid the price will continue to soar in uncertain times. It is really important that if you are in the market for selling or buying, to watch out for every transaction in the respective micro market, your communities, and even on each street, because I think for every deal, whether sold in multiple offers or with a decrease in the benchmark sale price, will set the tones for future sales. And people will follow the same trend, especially if they are not fully informed with the market conditions. Hey, thanks for watching my house the market in Toronto and York region. My name is Nick Xu from Sound Team at Remax. We help you maximize joy and profits when buying and selling real estate. Please comment below because I would love to hear your thoughts.